Big story today down on Wall Street is the public debut, uh, re-debut, I guess we should say, of Levi Strauss Company back on the market after a time as a private company. Denim Company began trading on the NYSE today, ticker LEVI, spent the day in the green. It's up about 20% right now, around 22.50 per share, 22.56. Uh, Brian Sazi, they're wearing denim on the floor of the exchange today. There's a, there's a big sign that says you can't wear jeans on the floor. I saw Scott Gam yeah. in say, person Scott earlier. Scott jeans. Scott Gans wearing jeans. I didn't even know he owned jeans. Yeah. Because that guy is always seen him. <laughs> for 40 years, man. Never seen him in jeans. 40 years. Yeah. yeah, right. Is that your combined age or is that no, just. William. Okay, so um, <laughs> let's just talk about what the deal is with this IPO because I went through the S1. It's okay. Five and a half billion in revenue, uh, about 73 cents per share earnings for the year. So that, you know, puts it at a multiple of right around 30 or so. That's aggressive for a jeans company. Right. What's your take on the market reaction to that today? Because it feels like people are really just excited about. Lift, but instead they bought Levi's. Yeah, well, I'll be quicker right. because I want to get Dan in on this too. Uh, I think the S1, the prospectus, puts me to sleep. Their compound annual growth rate uh, for the past five years in sales, 2.3 percent. That's net, a good business. Net income, it's fine. 11 percent. They sell jeans, not this, this type of affordable. But they have been diversifying their right. business, so tops has been a big area of growth for the I company. I think it has been that has been overhyped a little bit. They have been enjoying getting to tops, but it's coming off a low base. You walk into these stores, when was the last time you bought a top at Levi's? Where is the athleisure? Where is the footwear at 6% of the mm. business? They're profitable. Does Levi's a growth company? No, no. Glad, glad you brought up athleisure too, Saz, because interesting timing for Levi's to IPO on the day of Nike's third quarter earnings and Nike just recently at all time highs. So if you look at how much competition Levi's has, now if you just say jeans, that alone, they have tons of competition, but fine. Levi's, at the very least, you have to give it up. Yes, known for jeans, great, iconic, wonderful jeans brand. And by the way, I think a lot of the excitement about this IPO today is purely nostalgia. It's a nostalgia play. Oh, Levi's, I love Levi's, iconic American company. Jeans, fine. But then, if you want to talk about shirts, you want to talk about jackets, anything else, the competition expands astronomically. So many different companies that are selling similar things to Levi's. So yeah, some people, and by the way, I own a couple of pairs of Levi's, they're great, but I'm also happy to have a pair of J. Crew jeans, yep. Uniqlo jeans, Gap jeans, and Bonobos jeans. So there, there's no necessarily loyalty there that would make you think that Levi's has particularly innovative, exciting prospects to keep soaring. Well, they put in some stretch years. in their jeans. That's exciting. Uh, uh, they did, bit. but that actually paid off for the company. I know well, we're all sitting here making yeah, fun of it, yeah. but the fact that they did put stretch in the True. women's jeans, I think, really did help their sales. It, so, it, And women's has been an area for the company that has been struggling now, and they've been putting a lot of focus there, and we have been seeing some growth. Miles, you're no, I agree. Quiet. Well, you're yeah. a Bonobos guy. What are you talking about? A trader know. buddy of mine today, he said, yeah. everyone I know is short on this thing. Everyone I know well, thinks it's going to sink in the next few Work at a short, mostly shop, though. Yeah. Oh. All right. Well. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, but I mean, have you have you had stretch jeans, Daniel? Sure. Uh, I worked for two summers at Lucky Brand Jeans, right. and our whole selling point was we would tell people who walked in, mostly women, you know, what do you usually wear? And they'd say 28. We'd say, try on the 26. And they'd say, I'm never a 26. So trust me. Then they'd, and they'd go, oh my gosh, it's so flattering, but it's very tight. And we'd say, they're going to stretch though. They're going to stretch. So you don't want to buy your current size because then it'll get too loose. Huh. It's all about the stretch. Don't buy the, that. Don't buy the size you are. Buy the size you want to be. Oh. Well, I will. It's a, well, I, <laughs> I'll leave you guys on this real quick. The trade for tomorrow, if you're excited about this, this denim, Levi's IPO, is VF Corp. They're getting ready to spin off their denim business. There and there's also Old Navy, which Old is Navy's shot, getting ready to put its business on yes. blocks. Levi's. Lots of movement yeah. in the retail tomorrow industry, that's for sure. We need, Levi's, <laughs> we need Levi's joggers, too.